Hi guys, this is Todd with Real Active Wellness. Today I'm going to go over an exercise with you that's called a bent over row, sometimes referred to as a lawnmower pull. It's really simple, really effective. I see a lot of people doing this in different ways and variety is good, but there are some reasons why variety isn't necessarily great. Let me show you the standard approach and you can manipulate it from there however you want to. First and foremost, the exercise looks like this. Pretty basic. What I want to go over with you is the setup process. So how do you get set up on this? You'll see oftentimes people are going to get uh, set up on a bench like this. I think that this came from maybe a good visual from a bodybuilding magazine, or some sort of a photo shoot or something like that. This is no place to get leverage when you're doing strength training. So the knee up on the bench, we've all done it. We still see a lot of people do it. The question I would ask is why. It just doesn't seem to make much sense or have much application to it. Get your feet on the ground. That's where your strength comes from. That's where your power comes from. When you get set up for it, I want you to imagine that you're going to make an equilateral triangle. Okay, equilateral triangle. So you put your hand on the chair or the ball or in this case the bench and then you get your feet set up so you have a nice equilateral triangle. That means we're going to have the right distance away from the bench. Your feet are going to have the right width for good lateral stability. If I'm going to pull with my right arm, what I'm going to do is move my right foot back just a few inches so that I have a little bit more room to work. Now I have three points of contact where I can feel very strong and very stable as I begin to row. Pulling with the arm is the easy part. Here's what people don't realize. The other three extremities, my other hand and both feet, should be pushing down actively, hard, purposefully as I pull up. So instead of this being a one arm moving exercise where your intention is only in the arm that's moving the weight, the other arm is pushing this way. So you're creating this concept of twist or torque. That will increase your strength much more significantly. Otherwise, you might as well just bend over and put an arm behind a back, and there's nothing wrong with that if you're working on balance, coordination, things of that nature. But if you're looking for strength, equilateral triangle, drop one of the feet back behind you just a little bit, and then from there, I push with my left hand as I pull with my right. Feet are pushing into the ground as I pull with my right. And you'll notice I'm getting some rotation through my spine, which is completely normal when you're doing a single-sided exercise. Single arm, single leg. Rotation is normal. Just like if you were to start a lawnmower, throw a baseball, any of these single arm or single-sided movements, we want to foster uh, rotation. We want to accept rotation. So is this a pulling exercise? Most people would say yes. I can't disagree with it. However, I can say it's also a pushing exercise. It's hard to pull without pushing. Can you pull on something without pushing against something else? Can you push on something without pulling? So push-pull exercises, we don't need to really worry about it. All we need to know is this is a great exercise for the development of the upper back, back side of the shoulder, the complex of the shoulder blade, how it communicates between the arm and the spine highly effective, good for posture, and most of us are so overly rotated forward from our culture of sitting and so forth. It's just one of those exercises that can help bring us back into good posture. I hope you enjoyed this video on the uh, single arm bent over row, also known as the lawnmower pull. If you have any questions, check us out on Facebook, Real Active Wellness. Thank you so much.